Okay, very quickly, you've just learned something about the div tag, and now I would like to teach you about the span tag. Uh, the div tag and the span tag work together. The div tag is a block level way to change all the divs in your website, and the span tag is an inline level tag. So let's talk about what we might want to do with the span tag. Let's imagine that each of these words is a vocabulary word. And every time these words appear in the list, I would like them to be uh, red and italics. So of course, your temptation is to go to the index page. And there's the word egg. So to put an EM tag before egg and close it right after egg and you know of course that will make it italics and to make it red you could do an inline style uh, style equals this is an HTML attribute color let's make it that red what what is the red we've been using I'm gonna have to look at my styles here to find it there it is paste save so now you can see look I'll have to make this big so you can really see it the egg the word egg this vocabulary word has all of this work done before it and of course now that I've typed it once it's not hard to copy and paste every time I see the word egg and paste it before every one of the vocabulary words. But there's an easier way because especially what if I change my mind and I say I'd rather this be orange to match the butterfly. Then, ooh, I like orange red better. Then, save, I would have to go through and change every single one to orange red. So what I want to teach you now is the span tag. I'm going to put the word span here, save, and you'll notice my ending tag changed automatically because of this extension called auto rename tag. So now I want to put span in front of each one of the vocabulary words. Oh, it's interesting that this one didn't change. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not going to research it now, though. Um, so the word egg here has a span tag in front of each of them. And I could do the same thing with the word caterpillar. because I know that's another vocabulary word. Oh, I spelled span wrong, so it's spelling it wrong on the closing tag too. And before I end this video, or after I end this video, I'll go through and find all of the vocabulary words and put span in front of them. But you'll notice with just a span tag, nothing is happening. Because of course I have to go to styles and create a style for the span tag and what I'll do is make it color orange and font style italics italic save and you'll see that now oh didn't that orange red look better on the Actually, I think I'll go back to the beautiful red that we have chosen. It's kind of a maroon. Save. There we go. So I'm going to uh, go through here and find all of the vocabulary terms and make them look like this. Now you understand the span tag and the div tag.